the Eiffel Tower. It's the Eiffel Tower. We were attacked. I mean, attacked. like literally harassed. Where's the Eiffel Tower? There. Yeah. Eiffel Tower. Hello guys, it is quite a bit later since I last spoke to you on the Eurostar. I feel like I didn't properly introduce this vlog. Ooh. I feel like I didn't properly introduce this vlog, so welcome to the Paris vlog. Um, me and Maria, my sister, are in Paris for three nights and I'm so excited, I love Paris so much. We had a little bit of an issue because, so we got to the room, it was really, really easy. We had to get one metro, it was on the metro for like 10 minutes. We're staying in Bastille. I'm not sure that's how you say Bastille. it right. Bastille. Um, Wait, do you want to play that song? You know we're talking about the song, the Bastille song, and how I was like, it's uh, nine hundred. Uh, really uh, uh, I think it's that. Um, it's we're staying at Ola La, which is like a bar, and then there's also a hotel upstairs. And like, I'll show you later. But the entrance into the hotel from the bar is like a library door, and then you like beep it and you open. It's really cool. It's a band. It, Bastille is the band, not the uh, song. And they we sing. Kept trying to think where they sing. Do yeah, I knew it was that. Um, That's not the song, it's the, it's the band. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so we got to the room, which I'll do a room tour of. Um, this was a really, really well priced, this hotel. Um, really good location. Well, I feel like it's a good location, don't you? You're kind of like, everywhere is like half hour to an hour away. Like, I feel like that's just what it's yeah, like I think in Paris. in the hubbub, if you will. There's things going on. Mm. Should I um, put this on? Yeah. Let's see what it's going to have to change me under that then. Um, yeah, we got to the room and then I realised that I didn't bring my adapter. I forgot the adapter, so we were like just Googling where to get adapters from. We like walked for ages to these different um, electrical shops. We stopped and had like some drinks. I had a pina colada, we had some guacamole, some tortilla chips, uh, which was really nice. But yeah, we're basically on a mission to get an adapter and we couldn't find one. We just had to get one with like USB slots so we can charge our phones. Luckily, we I bought like the full charger so I can charge my phone in the USB slot but we can't use like I took hair straighteners and curlers and that which is why I've slicked my hair and it was a mission to do because it was really frizzy because it's so hot it's 32 degrees so it was really frizzy and like big because it was freshly washed it was really hard to slick back anyway I thought that's really boring but it's our first night it's eight o'clock so I came to Paris, actually Maria came to Paris in 2019 I came to Paris in 2019 with Harrison. We really wanted to come again together because I love Paris. Um, we're just about to go for some dinner. I really, really fancy pasta, like I'm really craving it. We walked past a pizzeria earlier which looked really nice but they only do pizza. Which to be fair, I guess I could have a margarita pizza but I'm just really feeling a pasta, you know what I mean? Um, outfit of the night this is a bodysuit from zara which will be in a zara hold i don't know if the zara hold's already up or not but this is from zara and then these are little nylon like parachute joggers from uh oh my god bershka which i will link down below for you guys and i've got my axle trainers on and yeah i've just tried to slick my hair that looks nice so you're not trying to i'm like ready i don't think so the little room tour so this is like i said the Ola la hotel oh la la um it's a little bit messed up now um but you walk in and then the toilet and shower are in there um the sinks out here which is kind of weird but it's okay for doing makeup like we said we were well i said i've already bombed it um clothes row the bed have a full length mirror here and then little kettle and it's a really nice how do i open this Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> really nice view outside. Oh my god, it's still so hot. See lots of people down there. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. In Paris. Woo! I'm just popping into this vlog quickly to talk to you guys about Babel. So basically this summer it was my goal to just experience as much as I possibly can, visit as many new places as I can, which you might have seen in some of my recent vlogs, like my holiday vlogs and stuff. So because I'm trying to visit as many places as possible, I wanted to talk to you guys about Babel. So Babel are a language learning service who are kindly sponsoring this part of the video. With Babel they use a human-based approach to learn new languages and what's really cool 
cool about Babbel as well is they have real like expert teachers who can teach learners of all levels so if you're like me and literally don't know anything in another language then this would be perfect for you as well so my news resolution was actually to learn French after watching season two of Emily in Paris my news resolution was to learn French and it really inspired me to visit Paris again which obviously you're seeing in this vlog so with Babbel you can learn a language through quite a few formats so they have an app they have online teaching classes they have podcasts they have games they have a variety of formats for whatever works for you best for me my favorite part of the app is definitely the podcast because I feel like even when I feel like I don't have time I can just listen to a podcast when I'm getting ready or when I'm going for a dog walk and I feel like when someone's actually speaking to you things sink in a lot easier for example the other day I was listening to one of the beginning podcasts so the greetings and we're talking about obviously like bonjour like I know I'm a beginner in French but obviously I know bonjour um and then on the podcast she was explaining that salut is more of an informal greeting so say like when you go to the bakery like when I'm ordering a pan of chocolat in the bakery you wouldn't say salut and she was laughing like because there's like a learner on the podcast and she's like no you wouldn't say salut in that situation like you would say bonjour like salut is just for like informal situations where like you know someone so little things like that really help if you are visiting new countries because obviously it's important like when you go into a bakery it's fun to be able to actually order something that you want in the language and not sound like a fool basically so if this is something that you've been thinking about or interested in maybe it's been one of your new year's resolutions and you haven't really got around to it like me definitely check out Babbel. it's a good idea to check them out now as well because they're currently offering a deal of 30% off of their six month 12 month and lifetime courses but i'll link all the information around Babbel and the offer that you can use in the description box below if you were interested and you wanted to learn a bit more about it but yeah definitely recommend if you do want to set yourself a new goal of learning a new language or if you're planning to move to another country work in another country it's a really great way to learn a new language now back to the Paris vlog and being in Paris. Right, the only thing with this hotel is there's no lift um, and we're on level four and the stairs are really fun. Like, my foot barely fits on the stair and they spin around and I feel like if I had a drink I would literally feel myself. I'm not even joking, it just feels like a health hazard. Health and safety. Trip. So yeah. <laughs> what is She's up. Who's up? Oh, in the content. <laughs> <laughs> it's a my bloody toe. Rita was like, Rita <laughs> <laughs> was like, can you get a picture of me on the stairs? <laughs> I was walking down the stairs, so I was like, I'll take a picture. And she keeps going, and I'm like, for real? You're out of the You're literally going. Right? You're literally. Right? You're literally right? You can't even sit like. You're literally <laughs> moving <laughs> the building. Are you? <laughs> Can you get a picture of me? Why? <laughs> Why are I walking down as well? You took a selfie. And this cute little Italian we found on Google. We've had a. Ah, oh, no. what's the name? No. Oh, 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 no. Oh
Yeah, probably, I would think. Oh, when he's like, I don't speak French, but please keep talking, is what she's saying. Abba, big stuff, please, please, is she saying, please keep talking. I don't speak French, so let the funky man. Wait, did I leave? What? Did you leave your water downstairs? That cost like two pounds. God damn. What? Absolutely. Where would it have gone? I'm. So... Did I put it down to like? Oh, do you know what I did? Oh, you left it at the bar. I put it on the bar, opened my bag, took the keys out, oh, left no. it at the bar. Now I'm walking chair. We're back at the room. We have got a busy day tomorrow. Wait, it's gonna be 36 degrees tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna be hectic. It's actually gonna be so hot, like, because it's city scene. It's city scene and like if, it's like, if you're walking or taking the metro either way i feel like you're screwed. it's you're gonna, gonna be hot. hot like like even going away abroad like on a summer holiday like sunbathing around the pool if it's 36 degrees it's hot yeah and, and like you're sweating and, and you've got you're get, yeah you're getting the pool down. and you're like sunbathing but really 36 hot. degrees like sightseeing i'm actually kind of scared but very excited so i will take you guys on our little tomorrow's gonna be a proper touristy sightseeing day i feel like today we haven't done too much so tomorrow will be a bit more of like a vlog not vlog field day like i will have more things for the vlog so i will see you guys in the morning night also just want to say that we are in bed and in paris it just felt right you know it felt right good morning uh it is day two in Paris. We are just about to head off for the Eiffel Tower. Maria really wants to stop off at a bakery first and get like a pan au chocolat or something like that. How do you say it? I feel like such a word. Pan au chocolat. Um, yeah, she wants to stop off and get a croissant. This one looks quite nice. How far away is that? Um, 110 yards. Two minute walk. Right. Um, and then we're gonna go get the Metro to the Eiffel Tower. See the Eiffel Tower, we're not gonna go up it just because um, we did go to book it, but it was out of stock for like all the way up to the top. And then I read that you have to queue loads. Um, like it's really, really busy at the minute. And we've both done it like only a few years ago. So I want to go and see it, but I don't feel like I need to pay to actually go up it because we only did it a few years ago. So we're going to go see the Eiffel Tower. We're going to walk to Gallery Lafayette. Um, I really want to get some French toast today, do a little bit of shopping, like window shopping because I'm not buying anything. Um, and maybe possibly the Louvre. Blue. What's the blue? We'll see how it goes because it's 36 degrees today, so we are gonna be sweating. Just got our first pan of chocolat in Paris. How would you rate it? I need to stop asking you to okay. rate stuff, it's really annoying. Yeah. It's delicious. Okay. We're at the Eiffel Tower. This is such a good little like no one's in this little alleyway. And it's such a nice little shot. What a beautiful day. It's something about seeing it in real life, it's just so, like I just, right. I could stare at it for hours. I know it's, I don't know. It's the Eiffel Tower. It's the Eiffel Tower, like what? Do you know what I'm going to put? What? Get an eyeful of that. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Okay. What a beautiful day in Perry. I need to learn that song. That's my goal to learn that German song while in Paris for some reason. Yeah. I want to learn that song. Oh. We're at Intendels. This is really quite fancy. I didn't actually realise it was fancy. But the price was quite expensive. But the French toast is supposed to be quite famous. Look at this. Guys, look at this salad. Are you joking? This looks unbelievable. I'm defeated. We can't go on. Oh, a little bit of salad on our French toast. But Maria didn't realise this was the balsamic for the salad. And we didn't realise. And it was hidden. And she's like pouring balsamic all over the French toast. So this one we can't eat. We wouldn't have finished it anyway, but this is drenched in balsamic. We're just sitting by Arc de Triomphe. Just come see it. Seen it? Yeah, just should have seen it. We've got your cooked zero because it is so hot, it's 33 degrees. What we got for me. I love how you can't always Paris and still thinking about. Yes. Stop. Can't forget it. Oh, it's actually really cute to be fair. She's gonna be so happy. She's gonna be so happy. She loves Paris. Get a little scenic shot for you. 
they're my favourite thing so far has been seeing the Eiffel Tower again. Yeah, that was really fun. Like, as soon as you see it, you're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad we did that first. But this is pretty cool as well. This is really cool. We made it to the right gallery that way. We went to the wrong one. So we had to go to this one with all the pretty insides. Very nice. I don't actually want to buy anything though because that actually made me carry as a treat in itself. It's the terrace on Gallery Lafayette where he's getting a little picture over there. We did have a good spot but people just stood in front of us. But. See the Eiffel Tower. It's so hot. My leg is going a little bit wobbly. I want to. Absolute miss. It's quite a while later now. We've had such a touristy day, it's been so much fun. We are kind of shattered though, I'm not gonna lie. So we are on a mission for we want Chinese for dinner, we really fancy Chinese food. We're gonna get some Chinese food. If we can get takeout, we're gonna probably have takeout and bring it to the room. Do you think we'll be allowed to bring it to the room? Yeah. Do whatever you want, can't you? Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to try and find some Chinese. There's a we few... We just at the table so no <laughs> <didn't really. laughs> Oh my god, we can't forget cutlery. We can't come up here and have no cutlery. Yes, well I'm sure they probably have like plastic in there or we can ask the hotel people. Um, yeah, we're really fancy Chinese. So we're going to walk around to a few Chineses around here and see what they look like. Hopefully get a takeaway, sit in bed. But it's been such a fun day. Like we literally haven't stopped all day. We we left early. Not like we them. left at like, we left, like just gone nine and yeah, didn't stop. All day. I feel like we did a lot of touristy things. Eiffel Tower, Art de Triomphe, a, a Gallery Lafayette, another Gallery Lafayette. Yeah, we went to um, two, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, by accident, we didn't realise that there were so many. Um, we did the terrace, we stopped for some drinks, we had that French toast and the salad. Yeah. Oh, a good day. It was a really good day. So, tomorrow, actually, you know what? I'm gonna just, I hate when you, when you watch someone's vlogs and they tell you, like, no, you you're, like, you just, see you're it. gonna stay it anyway, you know? Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go look for some Chinese food. I'm fancying, like, crispy. I'm getting hungry now. The French toast made me feel sick for a good five hours. Like in a good way, like it was delicious, but it did make me feel like <laughs> could be sick like several times throughout the day. Like I felt so sick, it was so sweet. But I'm ready now. We got the good the Chinese was literally just down the road. So we got quite a lot of it. Oh, it's Maria, as you. So she's just asking for forks downstairs. So I just convinced myself that they'd be like, you're not allowed to be upstairs. I just overthink everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just take the lead so they can't see that we've got Chinese. Did you get two forks? It's spat in my face. Oh, no! So we've got two forks now. And I'll show you guys what we've got. I've got so much easier to eat. I don't want to eat it. Yeah, no, that is true. Um, yeah, we picked up quite a lot, but it looks really good. I'm just craving that. What for me? Oh, it's really hot on my leg. It feels like frosting. Yeah, I can eat it up a lot. And then I think we might possibly go out afterwards because there's an ice cream place next to us. I'm going to get an ice cream. Oh, you can go get an ice cream next door and have like a little more like an evening stroll than ice cream. Oh, after being fat pigs in here. Wow. The dream. That sounds divine. So we got Where are the Korean is? chicken. Is that Korean chicken? Oh, we need to flash my booby then. Um, Peking duck. Sesame chicken, noodles. Um, actually, we didn't get that much. I feel like mm. we got loads. It looks a bit feeble now. Mm. Is that the right word? Uh, Thai rice and then chow mein. We got a large chow mein. So like the noodles. No, are. with the rice and the free things. Because I think it usually comes in a bigger container, but it's like I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But we're gonna have positive here. We're gonna tuck in. Oh, oh yeah, getting those sunset shots. Wow. Wow. Loving the scene. Bonjour. 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 Okay. We've okay. witnessed some sunset. We're now going to go secure. Right, you can do better. Right, We're now going to secure some ice cream. Oh, what flavour? We just don't know. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Ice cream. I can't get my phone out because my. Ice cream strip everywhere, but I just realised we've got ice cream. We're going for a little. Oh yeah, but the um, queue was so long that the sun's actually set. We wanted to go for a walk while the sun was setting, but the queue was so long that the sun's actually gone. It's 
Good morning, we are at Caret, which we found on TikTok. We wanted the hot chocolate with whipped cream, um, which I can try that right because I didn't order it, but I wanted to like yeah, try it because we saw that on TikTok. And um, I've got an espresso and we've got a pair of chocolate coming as well. It's actually started to rain. Oh my god, that looks thick. <laughs> it was literally like an Instagram versus reality scenario, wasn't it? Yeah. We were attacked. I mean, attacked like literally harassed by three wasps on the, our tiny table. They were burrowing in the pan of chocolate. They got, literally they was, one of them went in to the pan of chocolate. The pan, that's what I mean. They're literally burrowing in the pan of chocolate, in the little middle of the crevices. Um, in the whipped cream, by my coffee, by Maria's hot chocolate. Like, feel like and so, everyone else so just kind of ignores them. Like, and I, Maria's really scared of them, whereas I'm more calm. Like, oh, I'll actually sit calm. still. No, you was quite well, but I, uh, it, blah, blah, blah. towards the end, I was like, no, this is actually unbearable. Like, you're trying you, it, you're trying, trying like, and, it's, and there's a fucking around. wasp flying around you, like literally three on a tiny table. There's so many here. And they would fly off and they would just come back immediately. So we were just like, do you know what, let's get the bill and go. Like, and it was so annoying because the coffee was so nice. The hot chocolate was delicious. So like, I definitely recommend going, but if you can try and maybe sit, not like right well, out Megan, the front. Be real. Oh, I mean, this be is real. cute. We are at the Louvre. How do you say? Is it Louvre or Louvre? Louvre. Louvre. I don't know. I say but Louvre. But this, I don't know if you can see, but this is the queue. And again, we're just debating like, oh, do we do it? Because we've already done it. And I don't want to be queuing for like, there's another queue over there as well. So I'm a little bit confused. I'm so confused. I'm not queuing, um, I'm sorry. I've done well, seen it. We've I haven't done a bit of shopping. Maria's done a bit of shopping. Sephora and Bershka. Went through quite a few shops, but yeah. I don't know, do you reckon that's the queue? It's got to be. Let's have a look, let's yeah, see. I mean, it could be, it does look like it's going down really quickly. I'm just going just to have a wee, right. to be honest with you. It's supposed to be for the culture, We've not for the tourist we have done it. Well, like we ain't done it, is it? Yeah, now I know. Very pretty, but it's not as blue skies today, but it's so much nicer to walk in, isn't it? But the sacre coeur, sacre coeur. I can go like lay in that right now. Oh, it's getting, getting hot and spicy, isn't it? Yeah, getting very hot. Last dinner. Um, I'm wearing. We haven't worn. We wore makeup the first night, didn't we? Apart from that, we haven't actually A worn makeup first night. Any makeup? Because have I'm you got like concealer on or anything? What have you got on? Bronzer, um, eyebrows, and then I put some lip gloss on. What? Why? That's awesome. I should put. I feel like now I'm ready. I'm like, oh, I wish I'd put a little bit of concealer on and. We'll do it quickly if you want. I mean, we've probably got time. No. Right. Excuse this mirror. I, I hate this mirror. I With a passion, I want to just smash it off the walls because it literally. I know. I fucking hate crying. It's, it's like people are like, oh, I hate this mirror. Like it makes me look so beautiful. But, but this mirror. No, please agree with me. No, it's really it, bad. And I think it's the way the lighting hits. Like you just. But you know what is really? If you want to feel rubbish, it genuinely is a true reflection. That's what it is. It's the, I think it. it's the truest reflection because it's literally right in the sunlight and it's like very like seeing you. I don't know. It just it's probably the truest reflection, which is probably why we're so upset. So we're in this little place from Zara, which be in my Zara haul, which I don't think will be up yet already. And I've just slicked my hair back, so obviously I haven't got any electrical appliances to do anything with my hair. So I'm slicking it back again. Just went for like little gold hoops from Anna Luisa, Anna Luisa. I bet lie on. I think we're gonna go for our pasta. Um, I yeah. was like, what? I could eat fish, to be fair. I think um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head for an Italian that we found online, but as we head there, we'll- Let's go because I did it, yes. What? You said we found online, but you sat there- Oh, and I got a little mini- nothing. I ran out of hairspray as well, which is not good when you haven't got anything else to do with your hair, so. I bought a little mini. Basically, we went into this like, what would it be? Like, um, like, a, like a drugstore. Like a drugstore. And honestly, so it was one of them shops where like they cut cut it off so you can't just walk to the tills like you have to walk around the whole shop they do that in the pound land don't uh not pound that pound world where like they block everything off so you have to go through all the aisles well this one was four floors we went and had to go through was up, it four, 
Yeah, we had to go up four flights of stairs. I thought, how tall is this building? We had to go, so literally, we got the hairspray right by the till on the first floor. We had to go all the way up four floors to go all the way back down to pay. It was just crazy. crazy. That was my sporting story ever. Anyway, we got some hairspray and Maria found an Italian which we're gonna head for now. If we do see like any other restaurants in the way, we're just gonna have a look at the menu and just see um, how we feel. We had, oh, I didn't actually show you guys, I don't think. We went and had McDonald's at lunch, which I'll insert a picture of. We got a chicken avocado burger, which was quite nice. And then their signature burger, which was just like a beef burger with gherkins, cheese, and crispy onions, which was quite nice as well. Went to Montmartre which is where like that man was singing he i was felt so bad because we didn't have any cash at all like we didn't bring any I really wanted to cash we've just been using our phones and he was honestly so good like his voice i thought it was coming from like a speaker um yeah he was so good but you know yeah time for dinner are you spot truffle pasta again pardon She bought this chocolate for Harrison, but I ate it. Hopefully he doesn't watch this, so he'll never know that I actually bought my present, but I ate it. Lint Praline. I don't know whether you can get this at home. It could be possible, because I never buy lint chocolate when I'm at home, because it's, it's really expensive. Um, lint Praline. It's like Lint Praline. It's not going to focus, but it's like Lint... Yo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Little insolute. Lint Parline, Lint Parline, Lint Parline Truffle. Can I tell a story? Of what? So we were filming some... So we were filming <laughs> some bits for YouTube. No, we weren't. What? That was the script. No, we were filming. We were filming on the camera. And we were filming us trying to dance. This dance, it's like, do, 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 with your leg. Anyway. My beard comes out, long story short, and I just just discover it. I don't know how long it's been out for. It's on camera. You're never going to see because we don't, you know, we don't put that type of content out. Anyway, so we try again on Megan's phone for Instagram. Oh, yeah, we did it again. And lo and behold, it comes out again. No, it does. It just doesn't want to stay It doesn't, in. but only the left one. <laughs> the right one, stuck as a bug, doesn't want to be left alone. But the left one wants the whole world to see it. And do you know what? We're not the only fans to have a girl. Do you know what I mean? We're keeping it PG. So I had to tuck that right back in and no one was ever going to see it. Apart from Megan. Oh, I didn't see. No. I'm I actually didn't see it either time. Wait. Wasn't it like not long ago? Not long ago. <laughs> you touched a bit of brown on the sofa because you thought it was a bit of chocolate. And it was like, shh, 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 shh. Don't speak. I know just what you say. <laughs> Megan, touch. No, did you touch it? Did you touch it? Slip it? Did you touch it? Bit of brown it. on the sofa, I thinking it was a little bit of 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 I was saying he probably wasn't here. Can I play the Sherman's? Oh, I'll play the Sherman's one. You just stay right there, baby. Jennifer, Bubble, Sue, I bought the 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 Jennifer, Bubble, Sue, we unpacked everything. Why is packing everything back up such a struggle? Like, we got it here, but we could barely close the suitcase, barely close the bag. We've had to take like a carry bag on top because we couldn't fit everything in, but it's all the same stuff. I don't really know how that's happened, but um, yeah, I've had the best time ever. Have you? Yeah, that's the same bye to the view. Bye to the view. Goodbye, Pelly. Oh, see you actually. Au revoir.
Let's open it. Ooh, it's kind of cold. Not bad, Patty. We've got the Eurostar at 10, no, 11, 12. So we should get home UK time. What was it, half 12 we should get home? Yeah. Half 12, which is perfect, like to go on the train and stuff. We've got to get the underground and the train and then walk home from the train station. And then I'm gonna chill, because it's Friday today. I'm gonna wash my hair and stuff and just chill. But I feel like this is a good amount of time to go to Paris. Like, I don't feel like you need longer than this, do you? Oh, yeah. If we have another day, like, obviously we'd have fun, like, we could find nice places to eat and, like, other places to go, like, maybe that's not as touristy, but I feel like I'm also happy with what we've done. Yeah, same. And it was a good amount of time. We had a really fun last night, last night. We left, I don't know if I said, but we left this, like, bar club. Ugh, that's such an attractive. <laughs> we left this, like, bar club thing at 12, because we thought it was shut at 12, but then we round out it shut at 2. So we could have stayed up, but I think we would have regretted it. <coughs> Because getting up was difficult enough as it is, so yeah. Goodbye to our room. I'll link this hotel in the description box below if you're interested because their location is so so good, I think. Last pan of chocolate of the trip. Went to the cafe we went on the first morning. But each time we've had a pan of chocolate, we've been attacked by wasps. So that's like, you know we're gonna buy it. Come back to the room <laughs> to eat it in peace and like fully enjoy this croissant without being attacked by wasps so we've come to the room. <laughs> 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 <laughs>